put me in jail. I called my pop to go my bail. He said, son, you're going to drive me to drink, and you don't quit driving that hot rod lane. There you go. Original wow. version. <laughs> it's K-Fog at Village Music in Mill Valley, and John Goddard's getting ready to close the place, so we want all the fog guests to stop. I bring some records if you got them. <laughs> John Goddard is Village Music, and Village Music is John Goddard. John is like the gatekeeper of everything that produced what was best about America in the last 50 years. He was such a supporter of great American music and the music community all at the same time. America should honor him because he kept things like old guys like me. I could just hug him and kiss him. John and I are unique friends. He wound up saving literally my career. He understands the value of a recorded piece of music. I would say that my music's been more influenced by music from John's store than any other thing. The store is, is not a store. It's like Christmas, you know, if you're into that sort of thing. Every kind of music imaginable. This is American musical heritage, history and contemporary, all rolled into one. There's an element of it being like a library, not that you borrow the records, you have to buy them. <laughs> but you get the feeling that you're sort of walking around in somebody's life work. There's always people from all around the world combing the stacks. It unites a community globally. All the times I've been in that store talking about Ruth Brown, Charles Brown, John Lee Hooker, Howard Tate, Betty LeVette, Albert Collins, I have learned more walking around that store. And indeed, only loving, baby, call on. I think one of the major impacts from Village Music, and especially John, is, is sort of a tastemaker. He loves all the cool stuff and is also you know, very responsible in that sort of resurgence of a lot of careers. I like exposing people to new kinds of music, and if they're musicians, to me it's kind of a payback. You know, they've given me this, you know, and I would like to give them this, you know, and I, I love doing that. I love picking out music for people. You know, it's just, it's probably the single best thing I do in here. He's a very human guy and a very, uh, very good friend, and I, I gotta say, I picked up records here which opened doors for me, and I wrote songs. I remember buying a 10 inch record of uh, Chet Baker singing The Thrill Is Gone and it was only later on I, I found there were words to that song and uh, by that point I'd written Almost Blue which stole all the changes from it. So, yeah. As your own curiosity about music unfolds in time, uh, a different part of the shop becomes valuable to you, you know, but there's nothing more you can do but come and sing a couple of songs and, uh, you know, say thank you. Sometimes. 